Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Apurva and I love making DIY fashion and lifestyle videos. Turning 30 literally makes everyone anxious and I'm no exception. It's when the universe says welcome to your 30s where all your friends are married and have babies and your body parts hurt for no reason and being asleep at 9 o'clock is a regular routine even on weekends. To divert my mind from that, I thought I'll stitch and paint my stress away. So I thought I'll make my birthday outfit. I thought I'll make, you know, a girly top and a circle skirt to channel my, you know, teen self. But I literally had one and a half day, all because I'm a postponer. I always end up doing the same freaking thing. I just postpone things until, you know, I reach that time wherein the stress hits me and then I end up doing only one thing. It's a pattern and I just don't learn from my mistakes for some reason. And I thought, you know, I can do it. Sometimes I don't know what do I think of myself. I mean like I'm no wonder woman when it comes to stitching in one and a half day. So I couldn't make the top. I only ended up making skirt. I did cut out the patterns for the top but I just couldn't do it. Since I had less time and also it wasn't looking that great. I cut out white color top and the skirt I made was in white. So it looked way too white. It was like outburst of um, snow or light. So I ended up wearing the camisole I already had with the skirt that I made which I also painted. So the materials that I got are organza fabric. I got it from market. Uh, it costed me around 700 rupees. You can buy this online as well. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And then I have this semi crepe fabric which I got it you know during my college projects and I still have this so I'm gonna use this this will not be more than 400 rupees I have a two meters of this two meters of this and then I have American crepe lining this costed me around 160 rupees for two meters and then I got fabric paint to paint the skirt so everything put together costed me 1290 I guess this much fabric is sufficient to make the top as well. I also ended up making a sample because it's always safe to make a sample. This is what I'm planning to do on my skirt. First I'm gonna take my waist measurement. I'm planning to make a high waisted skirt. So my waist measurement will be 27 and then I'm gonna take the length of the skirt. I would want it around 19 inch. Now we're gonna do a little bit of calculation to get the waist. So that will be your waist measurement. Mine is 27 divided by 2 times pi. Just when I thought I can escape from mathematics, no, you just can't. So that will be 27 divided by 6.28 that will give me 4.29 so I'm gonna make it as 4.3 first I'm gonna cut the lining so I have folded the fabric once I'm gonna fold the fabric again so this is where I'm gonna mark the waist that is on the folded side. So I'm marking 4.3 from the center point all the way around which creates a semicircle. There will be an extra belt that will be added uh, to the waist. So I'm gonna keep the length as 16. I'm gonna mark that from the marked waist all the way around which again creates a semicircle. And then I'm gonna cut around the waist and at the bottom. Open up the circle and mark a straight line and cut only one layer. This is where we will be attaching the zip. Now that the lining is cut out, I'm gonna cut another layer of crepe lining uh, just like the way I did 
with American crepe lining and then I'm gonna cut organza fabric as well but when uh, I'm cutting organza fabric I'm not gonna cut the waist because I'll have to paint it so I'll only cut the bottom part of the organza fabric so this is where I'll be painting by leaving a half an inch margin for stitching this is a sample that I did which I did by freehand painting but I'm really scared of making the birds so I just sketched it out on a piece of paper. Uh, you can take a printout as well. The key for fabric painting is to give a certain amount of you know lightness to the color and darkness to the color basically shades that's when it will turn out really good. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life Puts on a show What's under the subtle smile She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands See you from around the way You didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that yeah Who really care what Simon say All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no one now that one frame of painting is done I'm gonna repeat this all the way around the waist of my skirt so I'm done with the painting and I'm super happy how it turned out. I have cut out the waist and I'm gonna attach the waist of this organza fabric to the other two layer of lining. Now I'm gonna cut out the belt for the skirt. I have cut out 5 inch width and my waist measurement plus 1 inch as the length that is 28. After making the belt, I have press ironed it by leaving half inch on one side. So now I'm gonna take the shorter side, it will be attached to the waist right side together. And I'm gonna leave that half an inch outside. I'm gonna pin up the belt to the waist of the skirt and then I'm gonna stitch it. First I'm gonna stitch over here and once that's done, I'm gonna fold the belt inward and then stitch it over here i just realized i don't have a zipper so i guess i'll get that fixed tomorrow so basically i'm gonna attach zip on the side and then i'm gonna do the finishing on the ends i totally forgot to shoot the part wherein i attach the zipper uh, so i'll leave a link in the description below on how to attach an invisible zipper to a skirt. The skirt turned out the way I thought except for the length of it. It's a bit short for my thick thighs but I don't have an option considering I have to wear it tomorrow. So I guess I'm just gonna roll with it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure you hit that like button, comment, 
subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay happy bye bye